Zorin OS is a Linux-based operating system designed to be an alternative to Windows and also somehow Mac OS. So in this video, I'm going to try this out and let's see if it can actually replace Windows or Mac OS. I think most people already know the answer. It's pretty obvious. But still, this is a pretty interesting operating system. So this is the official website of Zorin OS where you can download this. Even though this is a Linux operating system, this has a premium plan too. So if we try to download this, we have the Zorin OS Pro. Okay, it's uh, almost $50 or $48 including tax. <laughs> okay, and we have the core that is actually free and it says for basic use. And we have the education edition, but there isn't much difference between pro and uh, core version, the free version. If you buy the premium version, you'll get more themes and layouts and it will have the professional grade creative applications pre-installed. And I don't think it's going to have like Adobe software, so all that maybe some free and open source stuffs pre-installed, which you can install anyway, and some uh, advanced productivity tools and whatnot. And actually, here is the thing. Bundled with alternative to over $5,000 of professional softwares, basically the alternatives. I have downloaded the free one, obviously. So let's test this out. So first of all, I'm not going to lie. This operating system actually looks clean. I'm actually impressed. By default, yeah, it resembles the Windows, but everything looks clean, okay? So we can customize this. Let's actually go into the Zorin appearance option here, and let's try to customize it. So we have uh, layouts here, four layouts. If we wanna get more, oh, Windows 11 layout is also there, but I have to get the premium version of Zorin OS, then I can get the Windows 11 layout. Okay, <laughs> I, I guess I'll, I'll be happy with the Windows 10 layout. If I wanted to change it to something else, it would be the Windows 11 style, which is locked behind the premium plan. So we can actually enable the dark theme. I think it will look really cool. Yeah, look at that. I like this. I mean, dark theme is better. Okay, It's personal preference. I mean, Okay, we have effects. Uh, let's actually enable the jelly effect. Let's see what it does. Oh, the wiggly wiggly effect. This is like Mac OS style <laughs> effect. Okay, desktop cube. Okay, let's leave it as it is. So by default, this thing actually is clean. I'm not gonna lie, I'm impressed. So it looks like it's using the GNOME customized version. There is one interesting thing about this operating system is that if I go into the all apps section here, there is this app called Windows App Support. Basically with this, you can install Windows applications to it easily, okay? So let's open this up. I think I have to install it. Yeah, it's not pre-installed somehow. So let's install it. While it's installing, let's do some other stuff. Let's check on what we have. Oh, we have the LibreOffice open source Microsoft Office alternatives installed. Sound and video. Uh, some webcam applications are here. Okay, system tools. Yeah, everything just looks clean. Okay, utilities archive manager and all that everything just looks clean and one more thing i want to show you guys here is that let's say i just moved to the zorin os and i'm looking for the terminal and i accidentally type here cmd when i do that it actually shows me the terminal <laughs> now if i type here task manager <laughs> look at that system resources shows up even though that's not the name of this thing it's a default gnome system resources application okay it's installed and let's test this out actually is it like super easy to install windows apps now so let's install some basic applications i don't have much in my mind let's go with the vlc which is actually available for uh, Linux 2. I'm just gonna get the exe file for the Windows and install it here. So yeah, that's the plan. And let's actually try to install it. First, we need to find out whether it's like super easy or not <laughs> to install Windows apps. 
I know not all Windows apps are going to work here, but whichever application works, we should be able to install them easily in Zorin OS. Okay, so now we have two options, run anyway, install VLC. What do I do here? It's a bit confusing. <laughs> Maybe if it was a portable program, we go with the run anyway. Since this is not a portable program, we're going to go with the install option. Let's try this out. Okay, we have to give it a password. I have very strong password, so let me put that there. Installing. It's installing like the regular Windows program. This is not how you install Linux applications. So basically, this is like installing the Windows program. It is definitely way easier to install Windows programs in here in Zorin OS compared to other application. That's like 100% and it, it kept everything as it is. The user interface is still matching with the Zorin OS's interface. Okay, that's that's impressive actually. But let's try to install this one now. Again, I don't have high hopes from this. Is this a video game? You can say kinda, kinda or kinda not. I don't know if it will be able to install it. Oh, okay, somehow I got the setup here. Quick install. Okay, it did something. I, I Okay, let's try this actually. <laughs> Maybe it will work. The DPI is a bit smaller, but somehow it's getting installed. I know it's nothing new. Like you can install Windows apps on Linux, but not all Windows apps work on Linux, even if you can install them. Ah, uh, okay. I, I didn't have any high hopes from this. But again, as I said, installing applications is much easier compared to the other Linux distributions. Now, there is this application that I actually want to try on Linux. Sadly, this is not available for Linux and I have tried installing this on other distributions. Let's see if this works in here. This is one of the best webcam applications for Windows and Mac. Like there are many filters, you can make your webcam look better and all that. I haven't found anything similar to this on Linux. I was trying to install this on, again, other Linux distributions, but I couldn't. Let's see if Zorin OS can do it. Okay, it's downloaded. Let's try to install. I really want this application to work on Linux actually. <laughs> I use this application for my webcam on Windows like when I'm recording videos and all that. Uh, so I mean yeah okay installer is launched and hopefully we can install it for everyone we're gonna go with that. The DPI is a bit, bit smaller. It's okay if it gets installed and if we can use it it's gonna be wonderful. Like I'm gonna be happy, but oh no, we have an error here. This program set up, uh, okay. This is the same error that I was getting on other Linux distributions. Oh, sadly, we can't use this. But installing Windows apps on other Linux distributions was harder compared to this one, actually. This is like simple, it does, everything automatically in the background. You just need to launch the exe file and it will auto configure all the settings in wine and also bottles. It's actually really good Linux distribution if you want to install Windows applications. Again, all Windows apps won't work, but whichever works, yeah, installing them will be just much easier. To be honest, I don't know what else to check. I was like hoping maybe it will support more Windows apps compared to other Linux distributions because it has this dedicated option called Windows App Support thingy. Yes, it is definitely better than other Linux distributions. It makes installing Windows apps like 100 times easier, but the app support remains the same. It also supports similar amounts of Windows applications as the other Linux distributions. So just like me, if you're thinking maybe Zorin OS will support more applications, forget about it. Okay, yes, again, I'm just going to repeat myself again and again. This makes installing Windows apps easy, but it still can't run all the Windows apps. To run Windows apps on Linux, you can use any Linux distributions that you want. You don't have to use the Zorin OS. But if you're like you want a good looking Linux distribution, 
This is actually pretty cool. It has really nice user interface, themes, animations, which look cool. It will give you the look and feel of Windows or Mac style. Other than that, I mean, this is just another Linux distribution. Now, if we look at this operating system from a Linux user perspective, now I wanna know what kernel it's using, the version, then it becomes more disappointing Linux distribution for a Linux user. Because if you go into the about section and here you can get more info about your hardware plus the operating system, it's the Zorin OS 17 uh, and all that. And somehow, I don't know why, they have hidden the, the kernel version that it's using by default. Do I have to type this? You name R to check the kernel version from the terminal. Let's try to open the terminal. Let's actually put this here. Oh, okay, that's how you check it. Now, again, as I said, from the Linux perspective, this is disappointing that it's using the Linux kernel version 6.8. The latest stable Linux kernel is now actually 6.14 compared to that this is really old linux kernel and this thing is based on ubuntu even the latest ubuntu 25.04 is actually using the latest stable linux kernel 6.14 higher kernel means it's better the linux operating system is better it will have improved performance it will support more and new hardwares and all that so yeah this is something that like if you become a linux user you want relatively new linux kernel on your system for better performance and all that okay so yeah from a linux user perspective zorin os is kind of whatever the true linux users might not use this at least the power user who's looking for to do some work or just want the newer hardware support and better performance and all that okay so that's that 6.8 is a really old linux kernel okay that's all you need to know other than that again as i said i'm not gonna talk too much here now this is a like pretty good operating system Okay, maybe for your old laptop or PC, it has a really good user interface. It's easy to use. Even installing Windows apps on this thing is easier. Since I know little bit about the Linux now, I don't see myself using this. Even if I have to, uh, you know, choose Linux over uh, Windows, let's just say, for example, I would go for something else like Ubuntu, maybe even Arch maybe not actually maybe i'll use arch based linux distribution not like fully arch because maintaining arch is just too hard i i always recommend ubuntu because i have used ubuntu actually a lot after testing a lot of linux distributions and i think ubuntu is like the perfect linux distribution for new users and also for power users okay it's the most popular linux distro out there for a reason because it's actually good okay once you become expert i mean you can go for arch linux or even make your own linux distribution and all that i've seen some creators making their own linux distribution but still if you want to try Zarin OS, you can. I mean, you can also try it on virtual machine or if you have a spare laptop, that's a, that's what I'm using right now. I have installed this on my spare laptop. So final thoughts on this operating system. If you have an old laptop, maybe you wanna have something like this. This operating system actually looks clean. Okay, maybe you can go for it. And installing Windows apps is also easy. Now, if you're someone who actually want to use Linux, then this is, kind of not for you because it's not up to date with softwares kernels and all that so if you really want to use linux you want to go deep you should go for something else like ubuntu which keeps softwares and kernels kind of up to date relatively faster compared to these operating systems and once you learn more about linux i mean again you can explore even arch linux or make your own and all that if you have time if you don't, you can stick to Ubuntu. There are many Linux distributions. People have their own taste and all that. Yeah, 
that's it hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or you want to just talk about linux or this operating system you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye